Greetings, sire. Your stronghold awaits you. Hello and welcome back to another episode. Now, today we're going to be playing one of my favourite, if not my favourite, PC game, and that is Stronghold from Firefly Studios. Um, Stronghold has a military campaign and an economic campaign, and it all really revolves around the map building and management of castles. But today we're going to play the economic free build campaign, just because, frankly, I feel like having a bit of fun. So it's a nice big open grasslands environment. And uh, let's dive in, shall we? Place a keep to site your castle, my lady. So first of all, I need to place my keep. Now, should I go to a fortress or stronghold? Stronghold's fairly, fairly massive, isn't it? Let's go for a stronghold. Let's put it uh, there. Site yeah. your granary, sire. Uh, before I site my granary, I need to extend my... Oh, okay, put my granary. I need to extend my stockpile. Otherwise, I might lose out on stuff that's appearing. Um, stronghold as you can see, is very much an RTS. It's a game which revolves around the management of a castle which you're building. And in the military campaign, it is often attacked by enemies, various very colourful enemies, including uh, Depuce, I think, the rat, this kind of thing. And, um, and it's really good fun. Now, I first came across this game, actually, uh, when I was in high school. Me and my then-girlfriend were shopping in Chester. We crossed the border from North Wales into England, and um, we were young and looking for fun. And we came across Stronghold on PC. At the time, we were both very much interested in uh, the possibility of becoming historians or archaeologists. And uh, <clears throat> this game sort of was a manifest um, manifestation of that. Uh, so we bought it. And took it home. I say home, um, at the time, we, uh, that is to say me and my brother and my mum, had a, we had a terrible PC at home. It was our first PC, I've talked about it in a previous episode, um, but it could not run even a game like this, not very, not very effectively anyway. So we were playing on my girlfriend's laptop. Uh, and it's kind of weird because her parents, uh, even though we were in high school, you know, we were young and all the rest of it, um, we didn't... Uh, ever really have them bothering us when we went up to her room for a long time because they could hear that we were playing this game in the background because <laughs> we were legit we, we actually we were legitimately obsessed with uh, with getting through the campaign with managing our our um our uh, building materials you know things like the beer the cheese the the bread the the apples uh, and the taxes so uh, so well as to as to you know as to beat the big the big bad guy. I think the wolf in this game, um, uh, a knight called the wolf. Um, so yes, yeah, so we were so obsessed with that with that that they, they would actually hear hear the, this stuff, this sound, uh, the, and the music actually from the campaign, which is which is really great. This music's okay, but the, the music from the campaign is kind of like uh, the music from the first Conan the Barbarian movie. Excuse me. Um, and uh, it's sort of swashbuckling and loads of fun. And uh, so, yes, they'd just they'd leave, they'd leave us alone for hours up in her room. Now, sadly, when we broke up, uh, she kept the physical copy of the game. And um, I had to go and buy the download. And, uh, well, it was a bit of a tough time for me because soon after that, sadly, the PC that I bought the download on actually, uh, unfortunately, um, was stolen from me. So, um, so I lost this game for a long time, and uh, and hitherto had only really come across it in its HD format, and that's this this particular title we're playing today, is the, the HD release of Stronghold. But when I came across it, I had already converted to Windows 10 last year, and <laughs> and it wasn't compatible with Windows 10. So I've had to wait until uh, I don't know the past couple of days when I noticed it's changed. Um, until someone at Firefly actually pulled their thumb out and actually got the, got the HD conversion compatible with this operating system. Um, anyway, long story short, I love this game. I've loved it since around 2001 when it came out, and, uh, and I'm so pleased to be able to play it today and also share a little bit of, of it with you. Now, it's, it is a game played at, at its own pace, as most real-time strategy games are. And uh, people, I know lots of people love it. Um, to control the game, uh, a key control is actually uh, right-click. 
expands, for example, swipe up, and you change your view. It's a nice symmetric sort of 2.5D game in that sense. It's very charming. I, I love the graphical style of this game. Uh, swipe right and you zoom in and zoom out, or zoom out and then zoom in rather. Swipe down and you sort of flatten the landscape, but not totally. And then swipe left and you get rid of the, H, uh, the HUD, the heads up display. You can actually toggle the, uh, the, the landscape flat by pressing the space button. And that's uh, very useful for seeing if you're actually connecting the wall up successfully around your castle. I've actually, um, in the campaign, had a, this castle that looked absolutely amazing, but I'd missed one little bit out because I didn't uh, check that it was fully encircled. And so uh, the opposing army just simply walked in, quite literally walked into my castle and, uh, and uh, destroyed me. So this is Stronghold and uh, this is what it's all about. Now something which you can do with the help of your scribe is monitor things like for example your popularity. So you click on your scribe, he's holding this book which sort of summarises popularity 100, taxes or rather the other gold that you've got around about 20 and 16 out of 16 villages. So 16 is the capacity and we're fully, uh, fully, fully booked as it were. So click on popularity. The people worship you, sir. The people worship me. Oh, wonderful. In that case, I think I can raise taxes. So I'm going to click on my stronghold. No change in the treasury, Lord. And take us up a notch. There we go. And someone's got bound to complain. Oh, no one has complained. Okay. That's because they worship me. Let's click on someone and see what they think. Morning, your Lordship. Oh, they're just saying morning. No one's actually complaining. Morning, your lordship. Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> and uh, this is this is this is this is is great. Now, as the game progresses, especially in the military campaign, you can get to the points in maps where, for example, there are there are missions where you have to defend yourself, but also build up a certain amount of a certain resource. So there's one where you have to build up loads of ale, I think, loads of beer, to pay off an ally to help you in a fight against someone's troops. And um, you get to the point where you're so well established, you've built such a perfect fort and such a perfect e economy that um, you can actually afford to put off, put off this uh, this final battle by selling off the ale. So uh, there's, I forgot which mission is, it, which one, which number it is, but it's one of my favourites. Where I always get to this point where there's this sort of alley of death, where no matter where the enemy comes from, they've just got archers, you know, uh, mowing them down, and. Um, <laughs> And uh, I just sort of sell my ale and keep keep that battle off for as long as possible because I'm just enjoying it so much. Um, to build your keep or your castle, sorry, first of all you have to build the walls, for example in stone. And then, oddly, I found this really odd when I was learning to play the game, oddly then you had the crenellations, the, the up and downy bits on the walls in front of them. So you have to have plenty of stones you're going to build in stone. You can build in wood if you have enough wood. Uh, we have to, well, I'll demolish that in a moment. And, uh, and actually early on, especially in the military campaign, that's all you can do is you can build in wood. As the game progresses, you can, uh, for example, uh, train soldiers. So you can build an armory. And into that armory, let's say, let's say uh, we have some gold archers. Needed. Oh, we need some gold. Okay. Gold well, needed. You need to wait for the more taxes to come in then. But basically, you, you can put down uh, people who make uh, bows and arrows. They'll put the bows and arrows into the armory. Then you can make a, a barracks and you can train these people here waiting by the fire uh, to become soldiers for you in your castle. The only thing that will put them off, the thing that, that this green ring represents that, that that's good, that means people coming to the castle, it will turn red and start sort of counting each and every successive person that's leaving the castle. Uh, if you're not feeding them enough um, or if you're overtaxing them or if there's lots of disease, uh, that's when uh, people will start to walk away. So I've added a hobble uh, just there, and there's a little there's a lady there with the nursing her baby, quite cute. And that means actually our capacity has gone up to 24. And now you can see the ring uh, filling up. So it goes round, and then that's one more peasant, and it'll go round, and there'll be another peasant at the moment, and boom, there you go. And that'll go until we have 24 peasants. So this is the balance of Stronghold, and. Uh, and it's a wonderful game. I love it. It's it's a game that's played at its own pace, and it's a game which which demands a certain pace as well. This is you. This is this is the uh, the character that you're playing as. Uh, in my case, uh, Lord Soup, and uh, you can actually send him into battle. But he's a, he's a person of last resort, and he's quite strong and powerful. But you don't want to to throw your lord into the fray too soon. Now, if this was a, a, a mission, as it were, a campaign mission, 
I'd be doing all this building, but also every now and then maybe walls would come and attack, or a band of outlaws would come along and try and try and uh, route me. But uh, as I say, I just feel like relaxing today, to be honest, um, having a bit of fun. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you've had a chance to play this game at some point. It is the basis, I think, for many other versions of this type of game. And indeed, Firefly Studios themselves haven't really been able to, to better it. They've made Stronghold 2, Stronghold 3, I think Stronghold Legends, where they sort of introduced things like dragons and magic, and they never quite actually managed to outdo their original effort. Which is probably the reason why eventually they released the HD version. They realised actually people want, uh, people love, and people need to play this version. And uh, and I think you need to as well. If you haven't already, definitely give it a go. Uh, let's add, oh, just for a fun, let's add a well, shall we? Well, well, well. Let's put it near the hovel. Make it a nice little village area for the uh, family who's growing there. Uh, do you want to put a church in? Oh, not just yet. Um, bad things. Oh, we can add a, a gallows. That will that will down my popularity. We can add a head on the spike. We can add a burning stake. <laughs> uh, what about good things? Uh, good things. Lots of flowers, for example. A maypole. Uh, a dancing bear. Should we put a dancing bear in? It's a bit cruel, but um, these all the medieval uh, times. People, you know, entertainment. There was no television. So let's put a dancing bear. There we go. Which again will up my popularity, which is actually steadily dropping because I'm taxing people. Maybe I should uh, get more food. So let's put in a an apple orchard. Now, obviously, if you can get more, uh, for example, hops or wheat, that means you can start making bread. Uh, and that means you can build, for example, a, a windmill, get a baker's. You put in a brewery who who will actually stock at uh, an ale house for you. The game can get quite complicated, but it's it's brilliant. It's so much fun to play, and um, <laughs> and I can strongly recommend it. Loads of peasants though, they're sitting around doing nothing. Okay, let's see. Should we put in some wheat farms? Um, Not enough wood, my lord. Oh, uh, we need more wood. Not enough wood, my lord. Uh, there we go. Oh, only one wood. So that's two now. That's good. Let's make three. And you can see the peasants are assigned. So there goes one, here comes another. And they go off to their to their post, flex their muscles if they if they're a woodsman anyway, and they go off to start chopping down trees. Uh, now it got to the point, my, my girlfriend and I at the time, that we actually built, or wanted to build at least, a replica of Conwy Castle, which is a, a wonderful castle in North Wales. Uh, in fact, it's my favourite castle, my personal favourite castle. And um, <clears throat> and uh, we actually, well, we did quite well on her laptop, but uh, my, my, the, the best version of it, I have to say, was achieved by me in university on my downloaded copy. Sadly, though, when, the, when my PC was nicked, so too was Conway Castle uh, because actually there's, there's a whole there's a, a landscape editor where you can do actually if you want to you can make a map of certain you know squares uh, size and you can do everything from adding in hills you can add resources like the stones the quarry trees you can uh, you know water waterfalls uh, we can put I think you can place animals as well like uh, roughly where you want the deer to be this kind of malarkey. And uh, I, I made a really amazing Conway Castle. And I'm sure someone's made a better version out there. There's, there's a whole community of people who actually adore Stronghold. Um, but, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what we wanted to do. And that's, we, like I said, we did quite well. But um, we were moderately successful, shall we say. So, have we got any, any wheat yet? No, this guy is still... Let's see. Morning, your lordship. He's working. Morning, your lordship. Okay. So he's planting the seeds. It's going to be a while before we get wheat. Although our first batch of apples, it looks like, are on the way. That's good. Got three types of food now in the uh, granary. Is his name Shovelface? Morning, your lordship. Charlie Shovelface. <laughs> That's the guy at the uh, in the wheat farm. Okay, fair enough. So I don't know. I don't really know what else to what to do. I mean, I can't make the game. Uh, dramatic or more dramatic it does at times become dramatic um, especially in the military campaign 
But I just wanted to give you a bit of a flavour of the, this game which I love, which hopefully you guys have had a chance to play at some point. And, uh, and you can build these really intricate, really cool, funky fortresses, especially in the landscapes which they give you in, the, for example, the military campaign. You can have these, uh, these outcrops which are fortified and people have to run past them if they want to attack your castle. It's, it's great, for me, great fun. And uh, I would highly, highly recommend it. We've got enough stone to build more of a wall. Let's do that. Liked it, then you should have put some crenellations on it. Said Bill, say never. If you liked it, then you should have put some crenellations on it. No, maybe not. Maybe not. I didn't do that. I didn't say that. <laughs> if you can't tell already, I've got a bit of a cold, unfortunately, which sucks. And there we go. So, as you can see, it starts to build up. For example, you can, I do believe, uh, dig a moat. If you really want to, let's see what, how do we do that? Uh, defensive capacities, uh, stables, tunnels, guild, tunnels, guild, cool. Oil smelter, ballista. No. There we go, dig moat. So we can assign certain areas to become a moat. There we go. <coughs> so that section there, okay. Come on, dig moat. Now, if you want to dig that section of moat, then you have to have soldiers who are going to dig it. Usually spearmen, I believe. So when you've got enough of those soldiers, they'll, you can assign them to go out and dig your moat for you. But unfortunately, I am losing my voice. <coughs> and I'm going to end up coughing through the rest of this playthrough. So, let's leave it there for now, shall we? But guys, anyway, I, you know, I've noticed there have been a few new subscribers on the channel. And uh, I've really wanted to share this game. Uh, with you, uh, with well, with all of you, um, for a long time because frankly I love it. And hopefully, if you ever get a chance to play this game, you will too. And uh, yeah, so before I sniff and cough or wheeze or otherwise die uh, too much in this this video, shall we leave it there? Oh, I will though. I will return when I've got up to that really cool mission uh, in Stronghold and show you just what it's like to dominate the the enemy uh, when when you have the opportunity. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, I had a bit of a coughing and sneezing fit there. Um, as ever guys, whatever you're getting up to in the near future, do take care. And if you are getting Stronghold, then I'd, be, I'd love to play some uh, multiplayer against you. Try and siege each other. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be cool? <sighs> I'm always open for it. Right, as I say, do take care. Until next time, bye-bye.